When you first start BetAngel, um, you're greeted with the message of the day screen, which would have been explained elsewhere. And um, you need to select a market, you need to get going somewhere. And you can do that in a number of ways. You can do select a market and start betting. You can see a list of markets available here. Or you can go to file, select market. Both those um, allow you to skip into a particular market. And um, for this example, we'll go into horse racing. So I'm going to pick on the 210 at Yarmouth. You can click OK or you can just double click it and away it goes. Then you're ready to start uh, doing something on the market. There are several ways of navigating within BetAngel, so I'm going to explain those to you now because some of them have important consequences. It may seem basic learning how to zip around, um, but there are some very important functions within BetAngel. If we want to skip to the next market, we can go up to File, Select Market, and we can select a market from there. Or, as you can see, when we clicked on File, it said Next Market, Control N, Previous Market, Control P. So instead of having to go up there, clicking, and then going back down, and so on, if I press Control N, it will jump from the Win Market to the Place Market. So there you go, you can see that that's quite easy to skip one way or the other, very simple. What I can also do, um, where Control N jumps you forward to the next market and back when you use Control P, if you do use Control Shift N, it will jump you to the next race. And Control Shift P will jump you back. So very, very simple. If I want to skip through the card, I just need to, need to use Control Shift N or Control Shift P. Or if I want to go to the next market, I can use Control N, Control P. However, there are other ways of doing this. And one of the things that I recommend that you do, if you're going to go through a particular card or set of races or football matches or whatever, add them to Guardian. Guardian is the tool that you can see up here. This is what G stands for, Guardian. And if you're in a market and you want to add it to Guardian, click here. And it's at this point that I go and explain what Guardian is all about. Um, Guardian is a multi-market tool. And the concept of Guardian is that whenever you add a market to Guardian, there you can see we've added Yarmouth, the 210 at Yarmouth in here, um, Guardian will now monitor this market. And by monitor, what I mean is um, if you put a bet in to this market, it will keep an eye on it. And if you use any of these global settings up here, offsetting, with greening, place fill or kill, stop, at two, or whatever you do with the global settings up here, Guardian will remember those settings and manage it automatically in the background. What Guardian will also do for you is um, update charts for anything that you've actually added to Guardian. So if you look at um, Cloudy Start here, for example, I've got this chart updating. If I now switch away um, from this market, actually what I should do is pin that chart back to the top. I'm going to use the pin option here. If I now navigate away from this market and I use Control Shift N to skip to the next market, you can see that chart hasn't disappeared and in fact it's still updating. So any function, any sorry, any market that you add to Guardian um, will remain active in the background. Guardian will continue to monitor what's going on in that market. So despite the fact that we are now at a different race, the chart is still updating. What I'm going to do is add air to Guardian by clicking on this button over here. I'm going to close that chart down and we'll go back into the Guardian tool again. So you can see here that we've actually added two markets and uh, BetAngel is going to keep monitoring those. At the moment it's flicking between those markets one second at a time. So it's going to this one, then to that one, then to this one and so on. You can speed up the refresh if you want. It's up to you. Um, uh, but you've got to bear in mind, obviously, you don't want to refresh it too fast because if you're monitoring multiple markets at multiple times, um, that's going to create problems. Um, your data usage is going to start rising. Now, the counter at the bottom of the BetAngel screen actually monitors uh, how, much, how many calls you're making and allows you to limit the number of calls that you're making. And as a consequence, um, that's all accounted for within Guardian and the core BetAngel product itself. But obviously if you're going to refresh things faster, 
you know, if it depends how much you want this to be a background activity as opposed to um, something that you're looking to do strategically. But basically we've got two markets in there and it's skipping between them one second at a time. If I speed it up a bit, then it will do both of them within one second in intervals. At the bottom of the Guardian screen, let me maximize this for a second, you can see we've got unmatched bets, match bets, and a log of activity within that particular market. So it's possible to monitor all of that at that particular time. If you're on a market and you want to add it to Guardian, then you can click here, or you can remove a market by clicking on it and then clicking here. Very simple to do, very simple. If you want to add loads of markets in quick succession, then go to File, Select Market, and you can see we'll add in Pontefract, Yarmouth, Air, Pontefract, Yarmouth, Air, uh, and so on. Yarmouth, Air. And if I click OK now, it will skip to the last market that um, you went to, but if you want to skip to any other particular market, go into Guardian. And you can see here they are, they're all displayed um, at the top of the screen here. So if we want to look at any one of these markets, we can look down each one, see exactly what's going on. So for example, we can see there's a heavy odds on favourite at the 10 to 4. We can see there's quite a competitive field with the 5 fell on maiden stakes at 3 o'clock. And if I want to jump to any of these markets, just double click and it will go straight to that market. So you can go through the markets sequentially, or you can use a tool like Guardian to populate the markets and then jump backwards and forwards between markets that you're interested in. The key thing about Guardian is not only will it refresh um, all of these markets in the background, but it will also manage your orders in the market. So remember this, if you've actually set up a position using the global settings, Guardian will actively monitor that in the background for you. If I skip back to that first race, and we click on the chart, you can see that while we've been busy whizzing around looking at different things, this has continued to collect data for us. So um, Guardian is a useful way to navigate, but it also has a lot more functionality driven behind it. The name Guardian um, refers to the fact that it's looking after, um, it's managing all of this uh, activity that you have in the markets in the background while you're busy doing other things. And it does this in such a manner that it doesn't impinge upon the current market that you're in. And you can determine how active it is by setting the refresh interval up here um, or even pausing it if you wish. So it's a tool that allows you to populate markets and allow you to skip backwards and forwards quickly, but it also actively manages your positions if you have applied global settings to them as well.